Hey guys, welcome back to AX3 Gaming. My name is Alec and welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercard. In this one, we got some extra holiday cards for the Tundra tier. So let's get right into it, guys. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercard here. We got a couple deck updates to show off to you guys. I will show you right now. We got our very first Tundra Pro in this Brutus Creed here. So that's very exciting. I think I pulled them right off the board. So that is awesome. Uh, in the middle of doing his matches here, as you can see, I'm very close to done. Maybe we'll finish that off in this video. But that's really it for combinable Tundras. I have a million combinable crucibles to do. I was taking forever to do them because first of all, I was getting them so quickly, but then also I was spending a lot of my PVP bouts to finish off this uh, abbreviated Alliance one. So I haven't been able to do too many matches. So I'm a little behind on that front, but uh, I have one of these Ivar holiday cards to pro up. So that's pretty cool. A couple other females as well. And then a bunch of males here. I don't think I'm going to get to all the males. I think we're pretty much done with the crucible males at this point. Once I get all those uh, proed up, I need about eight more and I think I have eight, including the the uh, Brutus Creed here. So very close to done the Crucible tier on the male side. So that's pretty cool. But nothing else huge here. Got a couple other Tundra cards, of course, but uh, nothing uh, too exciting. Just a lot of singles, no pros just yet. Almost at the got enough super coins to get this da Blair Davenport so that'll be a pro pretty soon as well I just need to get a thousand more super coins there but that is how the deck is going right now as I mentioned at the top of the video guys we have some brand new holiday cards that have dropped in addition to the ones that we already have so the save Santa event is now complete so no longer can you go through the save Santa mode uh, or use those snowflake collectibles there but they did add some brand new holiday cards as well as a brand new way to do it so they released their first fusion chamber event of season 10 here so you have to go over to the fusion chamber and then we have to go over to the promo chamber here so as you can see there's a couple extra packs here to be able to do in the meantime for these brand new cards so there's two collectibles there's the tree collectible and the bell collectible and we'll get through that in a second here but let's take a look at actually these brand new tundra holiday cards very cool there uh it looks like it's an outdoor setting this time and they use the ice theme for the tundra uh freezing up the gifts there with some icicles and stuff some very cool cards here I really like how these ones turned out. I feel like the noir ones are still my favorite, but these are probably my second favorite out of the holiday cards uh, that have come out this winter. So there's Chad Gable is one of them. Let's see if we can get there's Steve Austin. Sorry, I skipped that. Ivy Nile. Steve Austin will be a pretty cool card to have. Otis. We got Otis there as well. Ivy Nile. There's Chad Gable. We saw that already. And there's Maxine Dupree and Akira Tozawa. And I think that's all of them. There's two Akira Tozawas. Uh, I think Stone Cold was the other one I didn't show you guys there. Come on, Stone Cold. Come on, Stone Cold. There he is. There's a Stone Cold card. So I guess they chose Stone Cold for the cold ice theme to go along with this card. But it's basically the Alpha Academy, Ivy Nile, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Very random group. I don't know why they would choose that. Maybe they would just do the entire Alpha Academy and then just throw in Steve Austin and Ivy Nile. I don't know. But anyway, to actually get these cards, it's mostly through the Fusion Chamber and packs and things like that. So, so you need two different collectibles. One of them, if, as you can see at the very bottom here, is the tree. And then the other one is the bell. So you pull the trees right off the draft board. So those are pretty easy to get there. The bell is actually the more difficult one to get. So the bell, what you have to do is you have to redeem it in this pack here. But to be able to do it in this pack, you have to sacrifice 40 draft picks. So this is the first time they've done something like this where you have to sac sacrifice draft picks in the fusion chamber. So that's pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. I, I kind of like doing the draft picks. It's kind of hard to get cards and, and pull the other collectible when you're saving up draft picks for this bell. But you kind of just have to do one or the other at the time. So you just pull cards out of the draft board to get the trees or you save up your draft picks and put them here for the bells. Costs a decent amount. 40 seems like a decent amount. I don't know. Maybe it's not that much. But basically what you do is when you're at the draft board, instead of doing your picks you hit the back button uh, and then you go back to another bout until you have 40 saved up there and then you just go over to the fusion chamber and they should be auto populated here you just click fuse and it'll consume your draft picks and give you a bell in about 15 minutes as you can see i have nine draft picks on the board right now so I'm, i just need a couple more to be able to do that so it's not too hard if you do a couple roar rumble slash elimination chambers you can get 12 each time pretty quickly and then you can get those bell collectibles so from here it's a pretty straightforward fusion chamber event here nothing too crazy you have two separate packs one that takes three hours one that takes eight hours the first one is just called holiday 2023 the other one is also called holiday 2023 do they not have names anymore oh arctic okay that one's called arctic sorry arctic 
Arctic. And then the other one's called the Winter Forest. So um, you have this first one here, cost uh, six trees and three bells. So those collectibles there. And then you have a chance to get a regular card, either Pantheon or Tempest, or holiday cards from Detention up to Tundra. So this one's a uh, lower chance. You get one card from it. Uh, you use less collectibles, but yeah, you have a lower chance to get a Tundra. So if you're in one of the lower tiers and you just want some pretty good cards is probably the better one to go through so you can do it more often you'll probably get some pretty good stuff but not uh any of the top top stuff you might be able to get one i don't know um but it might uh, we don't know the odds on these type of pack or you can do this arctic pack which costs 12 trees and eight bells and those are the ones i'm going to be saving up to do and then in this one you're locked for noir holiday card up to tundra so you have a much higher chance uh this one's actually based on your tier as well so in my case since i'm in tundra i have this variety from noir to tundra it might be different for you depending on your tier um i i'm not sure if you're in crucible if it's going to lock you at crucible or still give you the chance at a tundra so it's just basically if it's going to be one above or one of your tier those are probably going to be the two options so if you are a little bit lower it's probably better to do this quicker smaller pack because uh, you still have a chance at a tundra whereas the other one you won't have a chance at a tundra if you are in the lower pack so those are basically the promos there i just need a i haven't done one yet it just launched did it launch yesterday yeah it launched yesterday yesterday i'm kind of behind i guess <laughs> but i just need one more bell here and then i'll be able to uh do this first uh, uh arctic one here so i don't know if they announced in twitch drops no i don't think you're getting any of these collectibles through twitch drops because it started before the event released but uh anyway um that is the main way to get them other ways you can get these holiday cards is obviously through a couple of different packs that are in the store so you have this holiday shuffle which is detention up to tundra and you have a 15 percent chance at a tundra so not bad there and then you also have this frostbite one where you have a less than one percent chance but it's only 225 credits and then you can buy some tokens from the store as well but that's really it for those type of packs we also have the two ways to win up here which actually doesn't include i thought it did it does not include any holiday cards but the other one that de definitely does is the return of table flip so you get a daily free table flip play here or not daily but every time the the table flip is really release into the game go through that's the one where you match them up and then you have a chance to get some pretty good holiday cards here so it just depends on the amount of flips you do and then you also get a, a lot of collectibles from this as well so i'd urge you to do your table flip you know what maybe i'll spend i have a lot of credits you know let's spend some credits here and we'll do a table flip together i like table flip it's kind of fun um, but you get a free one every day with that. So let's just go through one here. So I think last time I did my free one, I got 38. I finished on 38. So just above this pack. So 36 to 43. So that was the second highest one I could have gotten. So in that case, I had a 4% chance at a Tundra holiday card. If I get 44 to 70, I get a 10% chance at a Tundra here. You know what? I'm going to write down. I'm going to write down who's where. You know what I mean? Let's spend our 900 credits. I freaking did it. So we have a what kind of board here? One, two, three, four, five by five. You know what? But easier way to do this is just do them side by side, right? So we got Lita and Asuka, Trish and Beth. Uh, I'm trying to do first initial, but I feel like that might screw this up. Asuka and Asuka. Perfect. H, H, H. All right, Triple H and Triple H. Perfect. H H H Oscar Undertaker Cody is this boring for you guys? <laughs> you can't see Mick Mick. Okay, that's another side by side. That's Lita, and my other Lita was up here. Perfect. John Cena and John Cena Undertaker, and this is Undertaker. No, that's Cody. This is Undertaker. There we go. Beth and Beth. Becky and where was Becky? There. Let's go, dude. And then Cody and Cody. So this is the way to do it, clearly. <laughs> and then we got our last one. Oh, but 40, 42. Did I make it to the top one? Even with that, I, I might have still not made the top or did I? Okay, Lyra Valkyria we got. Okay, there's Eric. That's a pro. That's it, eh? Just some crucibles. No Tundra, but that's pretty cool. That was pretty good. I mean, Lyra Valkyria is a fortified at least, and I got a bunch of uh, uh, collectibles. So did I get the top reward or did I get the second top reward? So I got 42. No, I didn't. I got the second top reward. 
It still took me too many, damn it, okay. You can probably reliably get the first or second reward there based on that method, so. I just wrote down, I made a grid and I just wrote down where people were as I was doing it. I usually take screenshots, but this is actually a little bit easier with a little notepad, it goes a little quicker. The screenshots going back and forth take a while, but let me fortify, so I have a combinable Eric now. Yeah, there he is, holiday card, so I'll combine that up. Uh, and I'll fortify Lyra Valkyria here. And last up here, guys, we got War Games this weekend for Kevin Owens. So that's starting in a couple hours here. And we're going to definitely play it this weekend. For some reason, I said Ring Domination in the last video. It's actually War Games. So that's to get that second Kevin Owens card to pro him up. So I'm pretty hyped about that. I think I got the matches done for that other Kevin Owens already just by having him in my deck. Yep, his matches are done. And he's a uh, half heroic there. Uh, I probably won't get an, a full heroic from War Games. I don't know. We'll see. Last time I did because I was getting, I was going against some pretty good, uh, some pretty bad, sorry, decks, and I was winning every time. And it was a flash event, so um, so if I were to do it, I would have to play all the way up to the end, but we'll see. It's uh, New Year's Eve this weekend, so we'll see what happens. But uh, for the detention, we got Rick Steiner. The uh, Noir is Ken Shamrock. The Crucible is Shinsuke Nakamura. The Tundra base card is Earthquake, and then Kevin Owens is the event card. So I'm looking forward to playing some more games this weekend, guys. We aren't going to wrap up just yet. We are going to play a Royal Rumble here. I'm going to try to see if I can finish the matches of Julius Creed so I can pro this up with you guys. My first Tundra Pro here, although this game is probably not going to be nice to me and he's probably going to come out right at the very end because that's just usually how things go. But let's see how it goes here. I'm going to need, I need 10 matches, so it might be two, maybe. I could do it in one, obviously, but let's, I feel like it's probably going to be two just based on how this match is already going. Okay, if I can sneak him out right after Dusty, I might be able to. Come on. No. Okay, so it's going to take us two matches at least here. Maybe three. Who knows? Who freaking knows? Wow, he's not going to come in till the very end, eh? That's just how things go. Just the way the cookie crumbles. There he is. Okay. So eight, that's not bad. So maybe I can get like five or six on this and then I can hopefully guarantee a victory or a, a finishing the matches on the next one. So there he is. That's one, that's two, that's three. I hope the ton their Tundra card doesn't come in and freaking beat me right now. That's four, oof, speed and charisma. Not good for Brutus. There's Undertaker, ooh, Undertaker might. Yeah, okay, that's five but it's only 11, that's fine. And okay, so we'll get to seven. So I think I'm more or less guaranteed to, fini to finish it on the next run here. Because three is usually, unless you like lose a match, unless you like lose the match with your, your Tundra card, three is generally the least you can get. Unless you, yeah, unless something goes wrong. Give me Brutus. As long as he comes in like before 12, even if he comes in at 12, I still might be able to do it, but. I just hope it like goes into my favor, you know? Really, he's not gonna come to the end, eh? Okay, so there he is. We gotta be d careful here because we don't, okay. So we have, oh God. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get up to my super move and then I'm just gonna use my super, actually I would've won on speed there, I think. Maybe, actually, maybe not actually. Uh, no, I would've. Yeah, let me use my super move here. That's fine, I needed to use my super move anyway. Perfect, that's fine. I actually would've won that match too. Anyway, that's one. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get it for sure. Okay, there we go. Brutus Creed is finished up. Just right under the wire here. I think I'm gonna get like one extra match or something if I don't screw it up. If he doesn't hit a reversal, that's the other thing. If one of his cards, I think I got it either way here though. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Yeah, he hit a reversal. Okay, we're good though. All right, all right. So there's Brutus Creed finished up there. My first Tundra Pro. I'm going to get Blair Davenport pretty soon as well. And then that Kevin Owens and then hopefully another one. I feel like it's been a while for me to get a Tundra Pro here. Yep. Both a hundred card and money in the bank. All right. Remove from all equipment. Uh, yeah, let's go with assist. There he is. Pro up. I love the pro animation of these Tundra cards with the ice flying through. Very cool. And like a wintry theme. Boom. Leveled up. I think he'll, he's not better than Randy Orton yet, but Randy Orton's in a momentum slot. Let's take him out. There we go. Okay. Oh, wow. So Brutus Creed is still not better than Kevin Owens or my Crucible R-Truth. Maybe when I finish up his matches, he will be better. Although he's, uh, maybe. Actually, I think he will pass R-Truth. 
yeah, once these matches are done. So there's Brutus Creed. Very exciting, guys. I'm excited to play some more games this weekend and hopefully get a couple of those Holiday Tundra cards. Let me know how your Twitch drops are going right now. We're la the last campaign's coming up pretty soon, starting on the 30th, so I'm pretty excited for that. Make sure to claim all those. And uh, let me know how things are going for you guys. Did you grab that first Kevin Owens card? And uh, did you grab any Holiday Tundra cards? Let me know. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. Hope you did enjoy the subscribe button underneath me. Here's some more videos on the right, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.